guys don't already know and for today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieved this super nice natural and glowy um, makeup look that took me around 15 minutes to do sometimes it takes me more sometimes it takes me less depending on whether it's some little things different but definitely around 15 minutes so if you guys want to learn how I achieve this keep on watching all right, so I'm trying some new camera settings. I literally just figured out right now. I had no idea what shutter speed, aperture, or ISO, or ISO was. Um, and right now I was just watching a YouTube video and followed everything the guy said, and then I achieved this. So I'm really proud of myself. Hopefully you guys actually can see me well because from what I am seeing on my remote over here, it looks pretty good, but sometimes um, this remote over here is a little bit off. So, so hi. I'm gonna start doing my makeup by applying a moisturizer. I recently bought this moisturizer. I talked about it a little bit on my previous videos, but I'm still kind of adjusting to it. I feel like it does look really nice. It makes my skin a little bit tacky, so I do like to use this moisturizer for underneath my makeup because I feel like it makes it stick. Um, well, it does what like a primer should do. But this is a water gel, I think it is. It's the Neutrogena one, the Neutrogena Hydro Boot. Is this gonna focus? Oh my god, that focus looks so nice! But yeah, it is a water gel, so... I had it here in the studio a couple of days ago, and it was really cold that day. My window has a crack, so this room gets really cold sometimes. Um, and it was really cold in here, and then I put my moisturizer on, and it was super, super cooling, so then I was like, oh my god, this would feel so good if I had it in a... Fridge. So I'm thinking about buying a skincare fridge. Also, excuse my nails. I know you guys can see them really clearly because of like these new settings, but like I haven't done them in like a month now. I'm gonna try to also film a video where I attempt to do my nails. I'm obviously not a professional, but anyway, my everyday makeup routine goes a little bit like this. I'm gonna basically list all the products right here. It goes moisturizer, eyebrows, like feathery eyebrows. I don't really go ham on the eyebrows on an everyday basis. Cleaning up the eyebrows, so concealer, powder, and then if I'm feeling like I have a little bit more time, I'll do some sort of bronzer, eyelid, eyeshadow situation, a little bit of bronzer, highlight, and setting spray. When I film it, obviously it's gonna take a little bit longer. What takes the longest is usually doing my eyebrows, although it doesn't even take that long when I do like feathery eyebrows. Right now my eyebrows are really bushy because, you know, quarantine has not allowed me to go get them done, so they're super bushy. Also, my background is a little bit different. This is the cubicle that I mentioned in my organization video, I think. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow for my eyebrows. I use kind of like a feathering motion. So the first thing I do is I just pull up like all of my eyebrow hairs so that they can like stand up a little bit. I know some people use like soap or something like that to feather your, their eyebrows up. I don't necessarily have enough time to do that every single day. But basically all I do is I just kind of feather up in like lines like this up on my eyebrow. Usually after I do this, like at the very, very end, I will add a eyebrow gel to kind of lift up the brows more and make them look a little bit more feathery, but I don't do that till the end. That's basically what I do for each eyebrow. As you guys can see, this is the eyebrow that I feathered out. This is the one that's natural. Okay, I'm going to brush them out a little bit. Next, I'm going to use this flat brush and a concealer. So normally I use this Too Faced concealer. A couple of days ago, I bought the Tarte Shape Tape and to be honest, I've used it one time. My review on the Tarte Shape Tape based on the one time that I've used it is that the Too Faced one is a lot better coverage than the Tarte one. So here it goes round two. I'm gonna let you guys know if I still stand by that. I'm gonna start concealing my eyebrows. All right, and that's it for my cleaning up of the brows. I usually don't do the top part of the brow because, oh my God, I put a lot of concealer. I usually do not um, conceal the top part of my eyebrow because one, it takes a lot of time. And usually this everyday makeup routine is supposed to go by like super quick, 15 minutes. And if I do spend the extra time concealing the top part of my eyebrows, it does take a lot of time. That's it for my eyes slash eyelids. The next thing I do is I just go in with my concealer and put concealer everywhere where I need it. Usually I have really dark right here and right here. Um, so I put concealer right there and then any blemish that I have. And then I just blend it out really quick. And then I just kind of take the excess concealer under my um, eyes, around my face, everywhere where it's like really red. My skin is really red. Alright, so I'm going to go in with my Too Faced powder now. I usually use a really big Morphe brush like this one 
it's honestly really dirty. I should probably wash it. <laughs> I use like circle motions all over my face. I also put it on my eyelids. All right, that's pretty much my base. Then what I'll do is I'll go in with a bronzer brush and use my hula bronzer to bronze my cheeks. So I'll do like a light bronze. I don't really also want to go overboard because natural. This is the bronzer if you guys don't already know, but you guys probably already do because, you know, Hula is pretty popular. Sometimes I feel like I don't really like the shade of it that much. I feel like it looks a little bit too orangey, oompa loompa-ish. But for the most part, I really do like this bronzer and it brings back life to my face. I still haven't bought a blush. I will use a trick that I discovered a couple of months ago. Alright, you guys, ready for my trick? I use the James Charles palette. This pink shade right here. And I'll use like a elf brush. I like this for an everyday wear. Put it on my cheeks and on my nose a little bit. Like so. Alright, so that's it for my blush, my hack for blush. Alright, so I'm gonna add a little bit of bronzer today because I'm feeling in the mood. Actually, I'm gonna go in with this brown color from the James Charles palette. This one right here, it's called Punch Me. All right, Punch Me in the Eye. And then I just add it to like, kind of like the outer corner and up here. I don't do it in, in the inner corner at all. Like that part to look a little bit more bright. I've also been watching Elite lately and it's been really, really good. I'm on the third season now. I didn't start watching Elite till like, a week ago so I binge watched the first season and the second season and yeah, I would totally recommend it to you guys it's a little bit more like crime investigation e. Um, so if you guys are into that for sure watch it alright now I'm gonna use my uh, my L'Oreal telescopic mascara can you guys oh wait right there I think my L'Oreal telescopic mascara I've been using this mascara for a couple of years now. I feel like lately I've been looking for a mascara that gives me more volume. I don't curl my eyelashes at all. I never have. This mascara definitely gives me length, but it doesn't give me a lot of volume. And I feel like lately I've been missing that. All right, now I'm gonna use this clear mascara that I got from the 99 cents a long time ago. I should probably buy a brow gel, but then I just kind of push my eyebrow hairs up with the clear mascara. Like this. I don't like them to stick out so much, so if they do like stick out a lot, I just kind of make them go a little bit down. This does add volume to your eyebrows and it makes them look a lot more full without you having to add so much dip brow to them. So for my eyebrows, I use the Anastasia Glow Kit and I usually switch between Butterscotch, which is this one, this one's Starburst, um, and I usually switch like back and forth with those two. Today I'm feeling butterscotch more. Butterscotch is more like golden tone, so like in the sun. It looks so, so, so nice. Here goes the highlight, my favorite part. It's also my mom's favorite part. And I'm gonna go ham with it, to be honest. I'm gonna also use a smaller, like pointy brush to um, add a little bit to the tip of my nose. And then some right here. And some to my brow bone. Alright, so that's basically it for all of my makeup. On my lips, I don't usually do lipstick every day. I usually just use some sort of chapstick, Carmex, lip gloss, something like that. I use Carmex a lot because it looks like really glossy and really nice. And then lastly, I just top it off with a little bit of Morphe setting spray. I feel like this setting spray makes me look a little bit oily sometimes, but glowy. So it's a good and bad thing. So let me just add a little bit. And then let me... Take my hair out of the little ponytail I had on. Do you guys like my hair nowadays? Let me know. Okay, you guys. So I'm still in the same dilemma from a couple of videos ago where I don't know if I really like my hair all that much anymore. Um, the little line that I was talking about, I think is blending out a little bit. But yeah, I still don't really know how I feel about my hair. Alright, so that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick 15 minute everyday makeup look. Honestly, I've been doing this for the last probably six months um either that be for school or for just like super super quick getting ready when my parents are like let's go get out the door type of way if you guys want me to do a more glam look that still does take me around 15 to 20 minutes let me know in the comments down below i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like comment subscribe and
turn your post notifications on let me know down below whether you like my hair or not and what other videos you would like to see and i'll see you guys next time